Yes, the situation is now we have a bit more information which are quite useful, but it, you have to differentiate on the individual level and on the public health or societal level. For for all of us um, on an individual level, the uh, current studies indicate something really good so that uh, um, the virus is probably, hopefully, hopefully this will be confirmed in, in uh, various other uh, countries as well. Uh, is less severe in some way. How much is still, uh, yeah, remains to be seen. But uh, at the same time also, from an epidemiological point of view, the uh, this uh, variant spreads so much faster than previous ones. Um, so society and our healthcare system um, is still running a high risk of uh, being uh, overrun very soon. Somewhat encouragingly, when you look at where the first Omicron outbreak emerged in uh, South Africa, uh, you are seeing a slowing in the case rates there. Um, I'm wondering what you make of the trajectory um, and just how rapidly the uh, case growth it seems to be slowing there. And if that's something we can extrapolate um, when it comes to the waves we're seeing in the UK, the US, Europe and around the world. You have to think about the situation in South Africa and in other countries uh, individually. I mean, in South Africa, the situation is that uh, most people had um, had a previous experience with the coronavirus. So there is some immune uh, response, uh, quite a strong immune response available there. So it is very difficult to, to extrapolate to this to other countries at this point in time. And um, it also depends very much on uh, non, on other um, measures like non-pharmaceutical uh, contact reduction and so on. So it it is difficult to uh, to really to project uh, the ne uh, coming weeks. Um, Dr. Wright, yes, one of the, the 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 charts that has really stuck out to me over the last couple of weeks is this one um, comparing Delta cases to Omicron cases. And yes, if you look at the astronomical rise in, in the overall cases we're seeing here in the UK and increasingly in other parts of the world, Omicron cases are dominating in terms of the absolute number. But we are seeing a continued rise in Delta cases in, in, in many places. So it seems as though the Omicron variant isn't necessarily displacing the Delta variant. Um, so, you know, what happens once the Omicron case load, a case rate starts to come down? Um, will we continue to be battling Delta when, when all is said and done with Omicron? Yes, this is a very good point. In previous, with the previous variants, there were only minor changes of uh, the wild type uh, as we, uh, as the pandemic evolved. Now with Omicron, there are lots of changes, as we all have heard and learned, um, which is also makes it more difficult for our immune system um, and for the vaccines, for example, to protect against the Omicron, uh, an infection against the Omicron variant. But at the same time, also um, uh, an infection with Omicron doesn't necessarily lead to immunity against uh, other variants. So we do not have the guarantee that uh, the one replaces the others. It's probably a good chance that, um, that we have uh, not only the Omicron variant in the near future.